Hello there, people. Got something really interesting to show you here. It's my geek box. It is a, you know, it is a really heavy box, big box. Can't do that much with one hand. That's about all I've, I've got. The only thing I say about this one is I haven't ordered it, so I'm not quite sure what's inside. But my geek box is a UK company. I think you can order them internationally as well. They do a variety of mystery boxes. A lot of them pre-prepared, and you choose whether you want to subscribe to one, two, or three of these special boxes every month. You can also buy them individually, and occasionally they send one for me to review. Normally they let me know, but they haven't in this case, but I'm going to assume this is a one of the regular boxes, the same as everyone else buys, and hopefully there might be some more clues inside, but I have to say it is, um, it is pretty heavy, and they have some interesting stuff in these. So, uh, so let's open up. I think hopefully you can see as well, it's, it's pretty packed there, and I'm going to start off this one, Mark Skull Glass, Call of Duty, because... Well, what can we say? The, the glass adds to the weight, so I'm going to guess it's going to be quite heavy, comparatively it is. There, let me just move the main box to one side. You can see what it is, a big box as well. It is sort of like a pint glass shape. UK size pint glass, a bit bigger than the American size pint glass. There, be a good quiz question if you know what the difference is in size between them. Um, but yes, yeah, skull glass looks quite interesting. I don't know how well that comes across on film. But, um, but it's nice to be, be one of these strange shapes to try and drink out of, no doubt. But I'm sure it will get used, whether for me or guests there. Perhaps get a bit of a better view on the back of this item from Paladome. West Sussex in the UK. So, started off with that. One of these trying to guess the theme, if there is one. There. Let's, um, I'm going to move on traditionally to a t-shirt. And it looks like Fallout. There, it's quite a gaming type collection so far. Um, so Fallout, made by Gaia. And there we have Fallout Boy, or whatever the name of that character is. You can tell it's not one I, I play, but a nice vibrant colour, blue on blue. Bit of yellow and a um, bit of grey there. Bit of sort of flesh colour as well. Let's take this tiny item for no reason other than it was standing out there. It's custom USB, always useful. A stock cycle USB flash drive. Um, was a Loot Crate exclusive at some point, so no doubt I'll find out more about it. I'm going to guess being a 2015 that is probably not that high capacity. Um, can we see what it looks like? You know, they're always useful though. These little flash drives never have too many, as long as you don't use them. And, um, well, it's... No, this is so well packed. Anyway, there we have the the wolf there, and I'm going to guess that somewhere under the base is the USB itself. It's quite quite sharp edges here under the plastic. No, it's too tightly in, but I'm sure you know what a USB drive looks like to go with that. Um, what should we go through next? Game of Thrones, particularly as the the final season is well on the way and this is also adding to the weight this one is an officially licensed mug you see the the land there um looks quite looks, looks nice actually that's what it looks like again a, it looks very big from that angle it looks very big from that angle official mug is it going to be another paladome no this one is actually made by um something i can't quite read whatever it says something I might say Nemesis now or something like that. Ceramic mug tankard. So I presume it's actually the shape of a tankard. Right. Some more clues on the back. Official HBO licensed product. It is indeed Nemesis now. Because I can just make out the URL at the bottom. And there's a whole range of ceramic mugs. So, so they're nice. I mean, it's always, always useful, these type of items, even though they both look huge. Uh, we can already see this one is Hellboy from Dorbs. So let's look at this next. Fallen over there, whatever was left in there. And um, Hellboy Vinyl Collectible. I always like daubs. You don't see as many of them in boxes now as you used to do a couple of years ago. But for me, they're a slightly better size and shape than the main Funko Pop Vinyls. So this is Hellboy number 468. I think it's the the main one, not the horned one. Yeah. Um, oh. No, I take it back that it's a Hellboy with horns. Maybe I need it around the other side to see the horns. There you go, that helps. So actually, 469 there. Um, yeah, very nice. Add that to my collection of daubs there. 
to send more in Geekboxes if you're choosing what to include. And there is a final item, no information card, so I'll still have to try and do some detective work to work out the theme, but perhaps, um, you know, some of these themes are quite random anyway, but maybe somebody will drop me a line and tell me. The night is dark. So it looks like it's some kind of journal. Always handy. Oh, it is Game of Thrones again, of course, hence night and dark and full of terrors. Yeah, um, you know, very, very nice. Three Game of Thrones items in here, plus a... Hellboy, a Call of Duty, and a Fallout. Um, yeah, let's guess the theme. Some kind of fantasy, um, perhaps. Some kind of an apocalypse, judging by Game of Thrones. I won't give you any spoilers there, but who knows. But, I mean, these are always good, fairly unique boxes. Lots of key items to keep you interested. And the nice thing about this to me is that pretty much everything has got some value to it there. There's no filler uh, postcards or key rings or pins or anything like that. So there we have it. It's the kind of box you get from my geek box. They're always interesting. Do check out the full review geek subscription box.com to see if I managed through my detective work to work out any more about these items. But hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll speak to you again very, very soon.